I want to talk about an article I got from USA Today. Uh, it's called, We Can Do Better Than This. Long story short, there's a massive start of summer party that happens every Memorial Day weekend at a local beach and, um, on the East Coast in, near Chesapeake Bay. It's called Float, Floatopia. Floatopia? I, I'm not sure. Floatopia? It's uh, apparently just a weekend celebration as a part Memorial Day, part start of the summer. But uh, the interesting thing this year is the garbage people who were at the party left all of their garbage. Um, simply put, it's, it's a pretty egregious attack on the environment. Um, for comparison, says the article, this is a quote, Florida volunteers picked up a reported nine tons of trash on Pensacola area beaches throughout 2018. Now, the Virginia beach partiers, they left 10 tons in two days. Um, which is pretty remarkable to say the least. So for me, you know, Memorial Day weekend, ostensibly it's about remembrance. However you do that, I don't think ordinarily the somber memoriam is littering a beach with just tons of trash. Um, fortunately, as detestable as these behaviors are, there is something we can do about it. Um, there was a group that went out and nine people cleaned up all 10 tons in a matter of a few hours. Um, so the beach is ostensibly clean now. But the problem is we don't know how much of that garbage ended up into the oceans. Um, according to a few sources I looked at, there's about 8 billion tons of plastic that enter the oceans every year, contributing to five giant garbage patches, not just the one, but there's actually five. Uh, one source estimates as much as 150 million metric tons of plastic are in the oceans right now. Um, fortunately, there's a, actually this group, group I found called the Ocean Cleanup Project. They started in 2013 and they've got the, some big flotation devices with some nets and things they're working on to clean up the plastic trash and you can actually donate to them to help them out with that. Um, that being said, there's not a whole lot you and I can do on our day-to-day -day lives. All of our groceries depend on single use plastics. Uh, it's hard for me to imagine one that there isn't some permutation where it's wrapped in a plastic bag or you go to Walmart, you can even get your veggies in pre-packaged plastic bags. Um, so it's, it's hard to say the, how to fix that other than to reuse some of this and be careful about not just dumping it on the ground. At the end of the day, it's going to, it's going to take legislation. Uh, we're going to have to vote green. We're going to have to vote for science to get people or to get industry rather to change, to go back to more economically friendly packaging. And in the meantime, we can clean the oceans. So that's my little, my rant about that is go, uh, if you feel like it, go donate some money to this cleanup project and make the oceans a better place.